Hey, bye. It's me, Ian. And, well, today I'm going to be looking at my steelbook collection in Doctor Who. Yes, my Doctor Who steelbook collection. Hey, that sounds really grand, doesn't it? Well, I ain't got that many, but yeah, I've got a few, and I think some of them are quite nice. You know, really, really good. But, um, so, well, you're thinking, what's that he's got in his hand? Well, I'll tell you what I've got in his hand. This is from 1965, Galaxy 4. And there was only one surviving episode. This was the opening uh, story from the final uh, season of the first Doctor. Um, 1965, as I said. Um, so here it is. Hey, hey, and it, it's really grand, isn't it? Uh, there it is, Galaxy 4, one surviving episode. The rest, they've done a beautiful job animated. In, 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 in many ways, you just wish they'd have done more of the first Doctor. There's not enough, not enough, not enough. But anyhow, here it is. Anyhow, as I say, there, there is the um, cover, and I'll just take this off. Yeah, as I say, I like them like this. Nice and edge, not those other blooming ones. <laughs> anyhow, here it is. So I'll just show you it. Open it up. So you can see it. See it right across there. Look at that. In that, in that, this is one of the best. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. There's inside. Oh. Nice little book in there, and then two discs. Excellent. It's, as usual, they've done one in black and white and one in colour. It's great. So, but at least there is one episode that survived, and now they've brought it all alive. And what's great is that this, um, when they finally release all the seasons, as they're going to do, of all the Doctors, then... At least we'll have some good representation uh, in there. It's just a pity there ain't more and there are certain holes in some seasons. But anyhow, we'll, we'll get away from that. Let's be now. Right. And then the next one. You know, look at this. This is The Power of the Daleks. No surviving episodes at all on this one. This is great because this is Patrick Troughton, the second Doctor's. It's his opening episode. Yes, yeah. And it's a Dalek episode as well. It is. It's great. This is again, he's in colour. Oh, man, it's just great. With the way they've done it. And, um, well, let's have another look. Here. Here we have. And here we've got a book. Yeah, a Reek Grand book, which is nice. Yep, a book there. And then, I'll just show you. Open it up. Look at that. Great, isn't it? There it is. Two discs, it says there. Uh, and <laughs> actually, there he's wrong again. And then <laughs> this is... Uh, Two more discs. We've got to say the black and white and the colour. There we are. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely love this. It's There are some surviving clips that they found, but not much from the episode. I think there's, there's just... There's like a little trailer as well, which they found introducing this. But it's such a shame there's no surviving episodes. But... It's been brought to life and brilliantly so. Great animation, and I'm so pleased that they've done this. It's, a, it's an important episode. It's a pity they, they haven't been able to do the next one, which is Islander, which is introduction of Jamie. But there we are. So that's from 1966, this late 1966, the um, debut of the second Doctor. So... Next, we'll go to 
the next episode. I've got them in. I'm here, I've got them in episode order. Hey, Bayek. Here we have the Macra Terror. Look at this. This is re really grand, isn't it? The Macra Terror. I'll just take this off. Yeah, there's uh, in here we've got um, another um, book and the J card and there's another book on that. Um, what's that? Oh, that's just an advertisement of uh, some comics. Um, Macro Terra. Here it is. Another. Uh, we we have to be grateful for this. Sorry, I'm doing this. We have to be grateful. Look at that. I'm so glad they've done this because no surviving episodes at all on this one. But at least we've again we there are some clips, um, but you know that's how what it what's happened unfortunately. Um, but we've got that. three discs. Excellent. I'm really pleased. Again, black and white option and colour. So, it, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, all these have a lot of good extras on as well. Um, it's just a shame, isn't it, that uh, there's not even one surviving episode on that. But we've got this. And it, again, it's going to help when they release all these. as this Because this first series of, black, of uh, the second Doctor is quite devastated well there is no complete stories so we've needed this and at least it's going to help on the release and then next one is the faceless ones this there is one surviving episode and they've animated all the rest so that's good that's great grand news faceless ones yeah look at that Fantastic. Mm hmm. Again, a J card. Look at that. Another little book. More advertisements. J card. I'll just show you this. And this looks good. At least we have one episode survived on this. There's it. And then, yeah, hey, it's grand, isn't it? I love the, the, the I love to look at, aren't they? you know, uh, it's, it's really refreshing, really. And then we go to this episode. The Evil of the Daleks. Now, this episode, there's what there's um this story. There's one surviving episode of this. Uh, this is from the second um series of Patrick Troughton, which would be the fifth season. If you do it like that, oh, that's if your maths are any good. Hey, <laughs> anyhow, here it is. This is considered perhaps one of the great Doctor Who Dalek stories. So it's really good that we actually have a good view of the story now. Because we only had one episode. It's a very good episode. And it introduces all sorts of wonderful... Look, look at this. The Emperor Dalek. Yes. We get all this. Just take this off again. And then show you. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? The artwork there. Yeah. This, as I say, would be considered one of the great Dalek stories. And it's the second Doctor. Sorry, little books here. In here, and um, then we got the three discs again, as usual format. 
and um, that's really good. It's an important story, that one. Um, but at least we've got this, so when they release that, at least the second um, Patrick Troughton series, complete, we've got Tomb of the Cyberman, and we've got The Enemy of the World. So that's two stories. The other one, um, The Web of Fear, we've got virtually all apart from one episode. And we'll come to that in a minute. Isn't it? So we've got that. Then we've got this more recent. If you've been on your shows, I got this fairly recently and got excited about it. Is There it is. The Abominable Snowman, eh? Bumble Snowman. Eh. Oh, yeah. The game, one surviving episode on this. And they've done another re grand job. Oh, yeah. There it is. A book again in here. There are the discs. That, that is great. I'll just show that again. Look, look at it. Look at that. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So we've got that one. And then the Yeti returned. And amazingly, we have got no, um, right, what am I talking about? We have got five episodes here that are complete. There's just one missing. Unfortunately, it's the one where they introduced the Brigadier and made an introduction. But anyway, we've got we've got that. So we sh it's it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, I take the J card off on this, and there it is. All these are in Blu-ray as well. All these that I've gone through. So that's another a bonus thing. Yeah, there's the web of fear. Uh, look at that, which is the return of the um, yeti again. The Bonwell snowman. So that's really great. Um, there's inside book again. Absolutely wonderful. Two discs. So we have five episodes on here that are complete. Just the one that they animated which is absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad they did that. And that completes the second Doctor that I've got. And of all those particular animated stories, um, there have been some others that were released on DVD, like, oh, the Moon Base. There's two surviving episodes of that. This, that's from the first Patrick Troughton um series um and that they they did animate uh, but i've not got a steel book on that i think because it was a more earlier release earlier animation but um that at least helps a bit the very first uh series of patrick troughton um but you know there we are so let's go on to the um uh, i haven't hardly got anything from the uh main series um but i've got the i've got this which is really nice this is the fourth doctor's um specials yeah all the specials that he did were starting from the next doctor right through to the end of time and this was the farewell of the 10th doctor he had quite a farewell if you remember with um his episodes and um it's it's really nice um i'll tell you, also also in here as well there's some great bonus features as well as a special bonus disc which includes dreamland and the infinite quest which are two animated Doctor Who 10th Doctor Stories. So that's good. Um, and then there's uh, an episode of from the Sarah Jane Smith 
um, the wedding off. Um, and then, um, because she, he comes back and does reprise the role. And then um, there's more, uh, another interview with David Tennant as well on here. This is great. So I'll just take the J card off. Um, yeah, I, I, I must admit, on here we've got the waters of Mars, and I love the waters of Mars. What a great story that was. Um, I love the fact that they named the space station the Bowie, after David Bowie, Bowie Station. Fantastic. Yeah, you know what a fan of David Bowie I am. So, let me open this one up. Here we are. Tenth Doctor. That's really nice. Two discs inside. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. What can I say? Absolutely love that. I'm really pleased I got that. So, let's say they've all been released, I think, on uh, from 2009 from... Well, no, no, not 2009. be 2005. The... Um, Ninth Doctor's stories, I think, have all been released on Steelbook. Um, but I haven't got that. Just got this one. And then I got one more. Um, I don't know. Um, here it is. It's from 2020. Uh, second, 13th Doctor second series uh, that she did. Now, for me, the importance of this series... Uh, is it introduced a new master in the sky? For, well, it's like a skyfall, uh, James Bond uh, story that he comes in. But for me, the most important uh, story in here is um, Fugitive of, of the Jadoon. They return and we get the Fugitive Doctor appears. I really love the Fugitive Doctor. Um, it's one of the highlights, I think, from the series. Um, it's it's the thirteenth Doctor, as we know, some patchy stories, unfortunately, but you know, there we are. There, there still was some good. I can always find good stuff as well, and that I really enjoyed. Okay, the level has not been always as good, but hey, I'm not going to go on too much about it, but. There it is. It's a nice steel book, isn't it? I'll just take this. In, oh, yeah. In here, we've got something different. We've got some uh, art cards. Well, when I say art cards, it's just the Doctor and all the uh, other cast members. Uh, there we are. Um, so, let's have a look at this. That's really nice, isn't it? I look at that. You say they've got the new master there. Oh, I quite like. I quite like the new master. In fact, dare I say it? Uh, as I might have said, I think I like him better than John Sim. But you still can't beat Roger Delgado and Anthony Yanley. Eee, no, no. But there we are. That's just my opinion before I get shot. Yeah. <laughs> right. And inside is the two discs. There we are. It's quite nice, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. So I, I am pleased to have that um, in the collection. So that that's really all I've got from the whole main series of Doctor Who. Um, I think that the flux they released um, in the steelbook, but I haven't got that. I've just got the ordinary one. Um, and I thought, well, we'll end with these. I have shown these before. But, hey, why not? It's still Doctor Who. I'm not into all this canon stuff. It's Peter Cushion. There he is. The first Doctor Who movie. Yeah, i just show it all again because it's beautiful artwork. And I really love these. And why not? It's Doctor Who. Look at that. This is a great steel book. Absolutely. Yeah. Why not indeed? Absolutely. The, have you noticed? 
that dreaded J card. Why, oh why didn't they make them better like this? I just can't be doing with them, you know. Um, and then we've got here, well, the second film, Dalek, the invade, you know, the invasion of Earth story. Just there it is. You've seen it before, but I'll show it again. Look at that. Peter Cushion again. He always pops up nowadays, doesn't he, a lot when I mention him. But he, I'm sure he will a lot more. There he is. Loving J-Card. And then the two uh, discs. Yeah. That's a beautiful set. Really pleased I got those. Um, and great films as well. Why not? Yeah. So, well, that's it. That's, that's it. I'm finished with my steel books. I mean, I haven't overall. I'm not a massive steel book collector, but I thought I'd just show you them because I know there's a lot of people who are really into steel books, and um, there they are. I mean, in my whole collection, I haven't got that many. I've got a few here and there, but not that many. Anyhow, all I'm gonna say now is, as usual, uh, subscribe if you enjoy what we're doing, and uh, if you like this video. Please give it a like. Go on, give it a like. And it don't cost note. So you can't argue with that, can you? Hey, by it, you can't argue with that. So all I've got to say is, I'll see thee, and I'll see thee again.